Staying with the National Assembly, the House of Representatives has called on the federal, state government and education stakeholders to urgently address the challenges facing teachers in the country. This follows a motion moved by Ibrahim Isiaka, who highlighted issues such as low salaries, lack of support, overwork, insufficient resources and mental health strain on teachers. Yeah. The motion is about celebrating and supporting our educators. And um, the House knows the World Teachers' Day declared by UNESCO in 1994. And just uh, the last October 5th, um, we missed it. So October 5th annually to recognize the vital role of teachers in shaping society's key contributions in educating present and future generations, foster critical thinking and creativity, promote social justice and equity, impart on students on influence, educational outcomes, mentor, guide, and personal development. The House also urged the Federal Road Safety Commission, FRSC, to adopt technology-assisted enforcement systems such as automatic vehicle location systems, automated traffic enforcement, ATE, and advanced data analytics to improve road safety. This motion was moved by Honorable Garba Mohammed, who emphasized the need to assess the effectiveness of these methods in reducing traffic violations. The House results to urge the Federal Road Safety Commission to embrace technology-assisted enforcement, which includes automatic vehicle local system, automated traffic enforcement system, advanced analytics and data platforms, and other potential options. Also resolved, also urge the Federal Road Safety Commission to evaluate the effectiveness of enforcement strategies whether technology-assisted methods are reducing traffic violations and improving safety, and mandate the Committee on the Federal Road Safety Commission to ensure compliance. Also, the House called on the Federal Ministry of Water, Resources and Sanitation to reassess and reconstruct the allow them to prevent future floods. Honorable Abdul Qadir Rahis, who moved the motion, expressed concern that despite multiple budget allocations, the dam remains in poor condition, leading to recurring collapses and flooding. The house note that the allowed dam with a maximum storage capacity of 120 million liters, located in, community, in Alo community of Bernoset, was constructed in 1984 to provide water for irrigation and domestic use in Maiduguri. Ekenga. Or the the also notes that allow Don't dam a was constructed by the federal government not only to store for use but to also help control flooding from the Ngada River. The House aware that on 13 September 1994, the allow dam collapsed, causing flood in Maiduguri and its imbalance that destroyed properties, public amenities and farmlands, causing the displacement of about half a million residents. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.